attention, but not through the disguise of another person. Does that make sense? So, yeah. like, online dating or meeting in a Facebook group or whatever, I mean, as your actual selves and then forming a bond and a connection, I'm all for it if it actually is great. But pretending you're Peggy Sue when you're actually Billy Bob and then getting somebody else to find a connection with you based on that is really just something that I think is... Dysfunctional about it. There's something dysfunctional about it. And I don't know where it comes from or how it started, but it's dysfunctional. You know, something is not firing, not saying people are, you know, low intelligence or crazy, but something somewhere, you know, in a person's mind has to misfire for a second to sit there and say, yeah, I'm going to take someone I don't know, build them up or, you know, make them feel good just for my own personal entertainment. And because of the anonymity of the Internet, if they get hurt, boom, I can disappear or I can move on and it's like it never happened. You know, it's it's a game that really shouldn't be played. But it's so easy to do. You know, super easy to do. Right. And I don't know. Before, I don't think that stuff was as prevalent when things weren't so, where everybody wasn't so connected to their device, if that makes sense. Yeah. And and it definitely wasn't. I mean, you know, I remember being younger and being on AIM and, you know, you meet someone in the chat room and, you know, I'll admit, you know, I bluff my age a little bit, you know, just to make myself seem a little older. But, you know, I never falsified where I'm from or anything like that. But, you know, if I'm in the chat room that you can tell it's mostly 19, 20, 21 year olds. And if I'm sitting there at 16, 17 years old, first of all, I probably shouldn't have been in there in the first place. (laughs) But, you know, it's easy to say, oh, I'm, 19 instead of 17, but, you know, the line has to be drawn somewhere. It's a lot different now to sit there and say, oh, I'm Cortez, I'm, you know, 30 years old, I'm in the military, you know, so long as I share a couple of pictures of the Navy and, you know, I find one friend who has, you know, a military jacket and I can snap a quick picture of that or snap a picture of a friend that's in the military. That is who I am now. That's my identity. And pass that off is, to me, I cannot imagine doing that. You know, I simply cannot imagine doing that. I mean, I met my wife in person. You know, when we first started dating, it was an in-person kind of thing. You know, we added each other on Facebook after the fact, but I think the reason I'm married now is because I had that human connection there. You know, had I met her online, you know, I definitely would have been skeptical of who she is and what's being presented to me, which I, you know, I think it's harmful, you know, for a lot of people. It creates this idea of distrust, you know, and once you lose trust, you know, if you don't have it when you begin, it's hard to gain it back. You know, social media just has not helped with that at all. Right. I don't know. I mean, we could probably talk all day about the ins and outs of our experiences online. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it does just come down to everybody's experiences, but with so much negativity and turmoil and disasters going on, I just don't understand why people have to, I don't know, I don't know what the right word is, but just feel like that unless they didn't say something or get their opinion in online, it's not true or it's not, there's no validation in it. Yeah. Validating your parking kind of a situation, validating your stake in the world, which I don't understand. Like, it's just, if it, it 
if something is happening, wouldn't you want to do something about it? And I just think it's interesting that we've become where it's like, oh, like, it's just, I, I, I always, like, what, that's why I brought up the late night host, because lately there's been all these videos and stuff, and, like, yeah, I, I think they're hilarious, because I understand the satire, I understand the comedy, I may or may not agree with what they're actually saying, but, and that goes for anybody, but I just don't understand how people are getting so blatantly oversensitized and offended because somebody that you don't even really like anyway, you follow them, but you have to get on the comments once their page posts the video of them, their monologue, and say how much they're hurting America, how much you hate this, how, you, whatever it may be. Or you could be proactive and just not follow that. Like, I just don't understand. Like, yeah, it's like you're, um, you know, don't buy, you know, from last week, earlier this week, I'm not entirely sure, but 